Living paycheck to paycheck can be a challenging and stressful way to manage our finances. Many of us find ourselves trapped in this cycle where it feels like there's never enough money to cover all our expenses, let alone save for the future. But the good news is you can break free from this paycheck to paycheck struggle and achieve financial freedom. In this video, we'll explore practical and achievable steps to help you overcome the paycheck to paycheck cycle and start building a better financial future for yourself. Before we begin, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Welcome to Money Mindset. Let's get started. Step number one, track your spending. To break the paycheck to paycheck cycle, start by understanding where your money goes. Track your expenses from the previous month to see your spending habits. Continue this routine weekly or monthly. Categorize your expenses into essential and non-essential. Then break them down further into housing, utilities, and groceries. This will give you a clear picture of your spending in each area. You can track expenses using pen and paper, a spreadsheet, or money tracking apps like YNAB, Mint, or Good Budget. Apps can link to your bank account, but manual recording helps you stay aware of your cash flow and may prevent unnecessary purchases. Step number two, create a budget. To break the cycle of financial struggle, tracking expenses alone won't be enough. You should create a budget to control your finances better. Start by adding up your monthly income after taxes and deducting fixed expenses like rent, utilities, phone bills, and car payments. Don't forget to include a category for savings. The remaining money is your discretionary income, which covers groceries, pet expenses, clothes, entertainment, and more. A great budgeting approach is zero-based budgeting. With this method, every dollar you earn has a specific purpose, leaving no room for overspending. When you subtract all expenses from your income, the result should be zero, helping you manage your finances effectively. Step number three, eliminate high interest debt. If you find yourself burdened with a substantial credit card, student loan, or car debt, along with high interest rates and a struggling credit score, it may seem like an impossible situation to escape from. However, there is a way to tackle this challenge. Start by creating a budget to understand how much money you can allocate towards repaying your debts. The key is to make small additional payments each month without stretching yourself too thin financially. You can begin by making some changes in your spending habits, like opting for a less expensive coffee option, such as making drip coffee at home or using a Keurig cup at the office instead of buying expensive Starbucks drinks. Step number four, limit discretionary spending. Even if you don't have a lot of debt, you might want to cut back on non-essential purchases if you want to stop living paycheck to paycheck. Think about how much you spend each week before you make any impulsive purchases. Are there things you could do without, like clothes or things that make you feel good? Instead of getting leftovers all the time, you might be able to find cheaper ways to eat and drink at home. Balance is the key to life, so you don't have to give up anything you like. But if you keep spending money on things you don't need every week, it's hard to get out of the cycle of living paycheck to paycheck. Step number five, live more simply. Living easily is a way of life that gives you more than just money. Instead of shopping to make yourself feel better, try getting some exercise. Instead of eating fast food, take a hot bath and get a good night's sleep. You don't have to give up everything you own, but being grateful for what you have and enjoying life's intangible pleasures can help you save money and live a better life. In real life, this means shopping at thrift stores like a treasure hunt for stylish clothes or eating a home-cooked meal with family instead of going to a pricey restaurant. You can set yourself up for financial freedom in the future if you spend less and save more. Step number six, get a side hustle. Sometimes, making more money is the easiest way to make more money. The gig economy gives you a handy way to make more money between paychecks. No matter where you live, what skills you have, or how busy your plan is, there are many side jobs you can do to make extra money. Traditional part-time jobs, like being a barista or waiter, are still good options, but they usually have set hours. For more freedom, you could become an Uber or Lyft driver, work as a stagehand at a neighborhood theater, or sign up with Instacart to have groceries delivered. With a side job, you can put money straight into your bank account. This lets you pay off loans and be debt-free or save up for unexpected costs. Step number seven, 
commit to a savings account. If you don't have any savings, it's important to start saving as soon as possible. Having an emergency fund, even if it's small, is a smart way to break free from living paycheck to paycheck and safeguard your finances from unexpected expenses like car repairs, medical bills, or home repairs. Begin by opening a savings account with your bank, preferably the same one where you have your checking account. Then, set up automatic transfers from each paycheck, even if it's just a modest amount like $25 or $50. Having some extra money saved up will protect you from relying on high-interest debt when unexpected challenges arise, providing you with a financial safety net. Step number 8. Use your cash wisely. Money comes to us out of the blue sometimes, like when we win a bet against all chances, inherit money from a relative, or get a tax refund. But instead of wasting this money on expensive things, it's better to use it wisely. You might want to use it to pay off your debts, which will make your monthly budget easier and your general financial situation better in the long run. If you can handle your present financial obligations, you might want to invest the money in a 401k, an IRA, a mutual fund, or an ETF. It's never too early to start saving for retirement, and if you spend wisely, you can make sure your money will be there for you in the future. Step number 9. Angle for a raise at work. If you have recently been performing well at work, it may be a good idea to ask for a raise in order to increase the amount of money you make. Timing is of the utmost importance when it comes to making this request. Therefore, it is essential to consider about the condition the organization is in. If there have been layoffs or if it is a sluggish time of year, it is probably advisable to wait until things have improved before moving further. You might also make an effort to advance your career by applying for a promotion at your place of employment. In order to accomplish this, you should provide your manager with concrete examples of what you've done successfully and then schedule a meeting to discuss whether or not you're ready for the next level. Step number 10. Believe in yourself. Believing in yourself is crucial, and it's the most important thing you need to do. When you face financial struggles and feel overwhelmed, it's understandable to get frustrated. However, it's essential to remember that your current situation doesn't determine your future. Take that initial step today to break free from living paycheck to paycheck and gain the necessary financial knowledge to achieve your goals. Moreover, maintaining motivation is key. You must understand that achieving your financial dreams won't happen overnight. It requires consistent effort and perseverance. But if you remain determined and stay on track, you can reach your financial goals eventually. That was all for today. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Make sure to like the video and follow us for more such videos. Thanks for watching.